Okay, so this is another one of those types of questions where it asks um, whether the solution of the following salt is going to be acidic, basic, or neutral. Okay, and if it's going to be any one of those things, we want to show the reaction with water to prove to ourselves that we're making H pluses or OH minuses to make the pH go up or down. <coughs> so the first thing we want to do is think about, well, this is the combination of two salts, right? So, or two ions for this salt. What are those two ions? So, let's break it up into its two ions first. Can you see one of them, maybe? This one's kind of a tough one, so... I don't want to throw you off by saying that, though. Make you feel like you couldn't do it. Because you're going to have to be able to do this one. CH3? <coughs> No, no, but that's a good guess. The two ions are going to be CH3 and H3 plus, that's one of them, and the other one's going to be NO2 minus. <coughs> so, remember how we get these, right? So we say, well, where did this acid come from, and where did this base come from? Okay, so this thing comes from HNO2, right? Is HNO2 a weak acid or a strong acid? Weak. A weak acid. Okay, so it doesn't really do that. What does it do? It goes like that, right? So this is going to react with water, okay? This thing here, um, is this going to be coming from a weak base or a strong base? How do we get this? CH3, NH2 with the lone pair, right, and it'll react with an acid to give you CH3 um, and H3. So do you remember us doing those before, figuring out those weak bases? This is a weak base, okay? So since that's the case, we're going to have something like that. So, this thing, is it going to react with water? Yes. Yes, it's going to react with water to produce H3O plus, like that. This thing, is it going to react with water? Yes. Yes, it's going to react with water to produce OH minuses. Okay, so this one here is going to make the pH go down, and this one's going to make the pH go up, right? So together they're going to cancel each other out and make a neutral solution. So if you do these step by step, and don't get too scared of thinking about all these reactions, you should be able to logically produce the result. Okay.